Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a pretty exciting video because these are all new products I was actually able to get my hands on in the store, so I figured I would do a video of them for you guys. And they are the new L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Sponges and the new L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Infallible Total Cover, Full Coverage Weightless Feel Foundation. So this is kind of like a L'Oreal video or whatever. And um, I saw all of these at my Walmart, my local Walmart. So it was really easy to find. I didn't expect to find anything. I haven't even heard anything about these products. Haven't watched a video. I literally have not seen anything about these products. I didn't even know they were out there yet. So. Um, I'm super excited about all these. I mean, this is pretty cool that another drugstore brand is releasing like beauty blender type dupes. So I'm really curious if they're good or not and everything and also with the foundation. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into the video. So the first thing we're gonna kind of talk about is just the sponges and the foundation, the price range, the shades, just different things like that so we you know can understand it all more. Um, this foundation at Walmart was like $10.97. You know how Walmart prices are. That way it ended in like 97 cents. But um, this was $10 and I'm not too sure if it's gonna be the same price everywhere else. I have it up on Amazon right now and it shows it's $10.99. I'm not too sure about Ulta or any of those other places because Ulta has not even gotten any of this stuff yet. I haven't seen it there. But it looks like the foundation comes in about like 10 to 13, 14 different shades. Has buff beige, creamy beige, sun beige, caramel beige. I mean, has quite a bit of color, so it will actually um, help with everybody's skin tone. It won't just stick to one person's skin tone, which is, you know, very helpful because you want a wide variety, a wide variety of um, colors. So this is obviously, you know, what it says. It's a um, up to 24 hour foundation wear. I have this in 301 Classic Ivory. This is, uh, you know, the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage Weightless Coverage Foundation. It says it has a natural finish, lasts up to 24 hours. It's a high coverage foundation, so full coverage. And the texture is air light. So lots of claims on this. It says Pro Face and Body Foundation. So you can use this on your body. Ultra lightweight seamless coverage. Hmm. Use everywhere face, neck, arms, and legs to cover imperfections and even skin tone. That's the foundation claims. And as far as these little sponges go, these were all $6.97. Um, so very reasonably priced sponges because $6 for a sponge is, you know, very great compared to like a $20 beauty blender and um my boyfriend actually pulled this one out already and I felt it when he pulled it out because he was curious and this one I haven't touched the other two this one oh my god the texture of this thing is seriously really similar to the beauty blender because I was actually squishing the beauty blender and squishing this one next to it and this actually seems softer than the beauty blender I was kind of surprised but you know it all comes down to how it applies. So for the three sponges that I did get, I did get the Blend Artist Foundation Blender. So it's in that, you know, the typical foundation shape sponge. Then I got the Concealer Blender. This is kind of like the same shape as the Real Techniques, the little purple ones, except it doesn't have a flat edge. Oh, it has a little bit of a flat edge, but the Real Techniques are a lot smaller than this one. And then I got the Contour Blender, and this is kind of like oval shaped and flat on the side so we are going to apply foundation concealer and cream contour today so we can try all of these stuff out and obviously the foundation so the only thing i had done to my face this morning washed it um i did a scrub with it and applied moisturizer but other than that i did not do anything else with it so i'm just going to pull my hair back and i did get this headband from target i thought it was like the cutest freaking thing with these little pom-pom balls on it I, don't, I just thought it was really cute so we're going to start with the foundation and I'm not going to um, prime or anything like that. I honestly just want to see how the foundation is. So the claims of the first little purple sponge right here says it delivers egronomic control, provides even and easy application and to be used all over the face. Um, it just says apply a small amount of foundation onto blender, bounce all over until the face is desired. Um, it doesn't say anything if you're supposed to wet it though, but um, I mean, I would, I would wet it and just kind of want to see what happens because it's kind of creepy that you wouldn't wet it. But um, as you can tell, it is really squishy. I mean, there is some dense, like density of it if you get into the center of it, but it's still extremely squishy. But um, yeah, I'm going to go wet this thing and we'll be back. Okay, just wet it and this thing got freaking huge. I mean, I didn't expect it to grow this big, but it is huge and it is so soft. Like um, compared to my beauty blender, 
I normally keep it back there, but this isn't wet. Um, the density, like the feeling of this compared to just like a non-damp beauty blender is insane. This thing is so freaking squishy and it's so air-like. It's just, it feels like a cloud. It's kind of weird, but it feels like a cloud. So I was not expecting it to be this good. Honestly, I wasn't because you think of like drugstore sponges and it's only like a hit and miss. My favorites are real techniques ones, but wasn't expecting too much from this little guy. So first thing I'm going to do is squeeze some out in the back of my hand and it's not like a pump or anything. It actually has this little like pointed end of it. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of product out. If I can get some out. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so right away, the consistency of this is very moussey. It actually reminds me of the Maybelline, the Dream Wonder Foundation. I think that's what it's called. The one that they release their own little beauty blender sponge thing with. But that's what it reminds me of. So, ooh, this is weird. This is very, it's very um, airy. Feels like it's, like when they say lightweight, it feels very like kind of moussey, I guess I could say. So I'm going to dot this all around. I'm not too sure how they say this is going to be full coverage because it's so light, but I have some acne right now and I guess it's a good tester. So I'm going to take the bottom of it because that's normally what I used to, um, you know, bounce out everything. So I take the bottom of it and start pouncing. Wow. Okay. This is nice. Really like this sponge. It doesn't require a lot of like like pouncing motion. I hope this color matches me though because it's kind of looking a little light right now. And I don't, even, I don't even think that's the fairest shade. I think there was a fairest shade underneath that. But the sponge doesn't require a lot of bouncing. I'm just bouncing it and just moving the product around. I'm not really having to drag and pull at it. L'Oreal maybe has something going on right here because this is pretty cool. I've been really excited about doing this. I bought like the sponges and the foundation like a, two or three days ago. So I've been really waiting. Now for full coverageness of this, um, I don't know if I would say it's full coverage. I mean, it's pretty dang close, but I don't know if I would say full coverage. Just because I have a lot of other full coverage foundations that are like legit full coverage. I'm gonna have to bronze up too because this foundation is freaking pale. I wasn't expecting it to be this pale. But this sponge is nice. I'm really loving the sponge. And it doesn't really suck up too much product. You just get the product from bouncing on it. So um, after looking, yeah, this is way too light for me. I don't know what I was thinking, but like the color inside of this tube does not match. This is like freaking white. But I'll just have to bronze and make it work. Um, but once I looked into the mirror and looked at the foundation, you definitely can tell that it is, um, Kind of more sticking to my dry spots. I have a little bit of dry patches right here around my nose right now. And um, it's just from, I had acne medicine on there last night and it dried it out. But um, I don't think it's full coverage. I think it's probably medium to buildable full coverage. But like my acne spot right here and um, I have something right, I have a little like texture and stuff right here. Um, it didn't fully cover it up, but I wouldn't really feel the need to set it. I would definitely set my under eye after concealer and all that, but I definitely wouldn't feel the need to set it. It doesn't feel like I have anything in my face. It feels very light and airy like they say it should feel, so that's a good thing. But um, not very tacky, but this sponge, like, I love this little sponge. This is a really great sponge for only $6. I mean, it's really nice. And you can also use the other side for um, under eyes. That way you don't really have to buy this one, but... For the sake of the video, I wanted to get them so I could try them out. So I have all of this blended out, everything like that. So now we're gonna move on to concealer. So for concealer, I'm just gonna use something very, you know, trusty that I know will always work because it's really great. It's just the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I'm gonna set it with my Revlon, Revlon, Revlon Color Stay Powder. And we are going to use the little blue sponge now. And I'm going to wet this one also. This one obviously says the same thing, except you're supposed to use this under your eyes, on your brow bone, around your nose, and around your mouth area. Um, basically any place that you would normally highlight. So this one right here, um, you can tell it's still in the packaging. Very tiny little sponge. So I'm going to also go ahead and go get this one wet. This one dry right now feels really stiff. It did not feel anything like this one. This one's real soft and airy. This one is extremely stiff. So 
not exactly too sure how this one's gonna work, but I do like the little pointed end, that way you can get really close on your under eye. But I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so after wetting the blue one, it's definitely not the same compared to this purple one. This purple one is so soft and squishy, and this one's still extremely dense. I don't I don't know if it's almost just flicked it across the room. I don't know if it's smaller, but it's a lot denser than squishing this one. Like this one has so much more give. And this one's just a lot tougher, it feels like, in the center. Um, we're still going to try it out, but we're just going to apply the concealer normally where I would apply it. So we're going to take the flat end that has a pointy side and blend in that concealer. This concealer never gives me issues, so I'm not worried about it one bit. But I don't like this sponge, really. I feel like... I don't know, it's just not bouncy. Like this one is real airy and bouncy to blend in your foundation, but this one's very stiff. So it's not bad to blend out the under eye because it has that really pointed edge, but I just, I don't, I think it's too stiff. I think that's my issue with this. I think it's extremely stiff compared to the purple. I don't know what they changed between those two sponges, but it's just different. It's a lot stiffer and I don't like that at all. Okay, so um, first impression of this sponge, I uh, wouldn't get it. I would definitely go for the little purple Real Technique sponges. I'll link those down below as well with all these sponges and everything like that. But um, I would definitely skip over this guy. It's okay, but I think you're better off spending your money on the Real Techniques ones and getting something that's like this uh, rather than something that's hard like this. Okay, so for cream contouring today, we are going to use the NYX Wonder Stick. This is actually the only cream contour product I have right now. I thought I had other things, but I'll just go ahead and use this. And we're going to use the yellow L'Oreal sponge now. So this has the same claims, except you are supposed to highlight and contour with it down your jawline, your cheekbones, and your nose is the places it suggests because every packaging has like little instructions all around it, which is pretty cool and helpful. Um, but it says, use flat side to blend and diffuse. Draw contour and highlight lines using tips. Um, yeah, if I had a cream contour palette, I would use the tips of it, but I'm just gonna use the Wonder Stick right now. So that's what it looks like in the packaging. It's obviously very small because it's not wet yet. And the consistency of this one definitely feels like the blue. So I don't know what to expect from this. It makes me nervous because we're going to cream contour and I don't know how the sponge is going to work. But um, very small right now, as you can probably tell in the palm of my hand. So I'm going to go wet this one. Okay, so after wetting this one, this got freaking huge. If you can't tell, it got ginormous. Um, this kind of has... A softer consistency than the blue one but it's not as soft as the purple one one quick thing I did notice about this foundation it did more it kind of oxidized it got darker it didn't stay as light as it you know kind of looked and looking in the mirror it definitely looks more full coverage now uh, you know plus the concealer and everything but we are just going to draw this on now and I'm very worried because cream contouring in general I'm not the I'm not the best at but Cream contouring with a sponge, I don't know, kind of, you know, makes me nervous. So we are going to draw just a little bit right here and we'll just, we'll just start with that. And I'll do a little bit right here. Okay, we'll start with one side because <laughs> I'm already nervous as it is. Okay, so use, it says use a tip to apply it and use the side to blend it out. So we are just going to blend this out well okay I don't know if it's just me but it's removing my foundation okay that was weird I don't know if I like I don't even see it anymore It like started removing my foundation as I started to blend out that cream contour. Okay, that was weird. I feel like the cream contour didn't even show up, but okay, we'll try a little more and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to pounce. Like it's blending it out, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like it's not bad, but I don't know. I'm just kind of like mixed. Let me finish the rest of the cream contour. All sketchy. Okay. 
Okay, so after blending the contour out, it's not bad to use. I really, I don't hate it, but at the same time, the only thing I have to say really bad about it is at the beginning I was swiping and it completely moved the product, the contour and my foundation around. So don't do that, just dab. But it's nice, but I feel like it's extremely large for the need of this area. Like. They probably could have made it this size and gotten away with it because I could easily use this flat side right here and do the same thing. I just feel like this got extremely large just for this, you know, purpose. But I mean, I would probably use it again. It's, just, it's not bad. I, I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. I'm like in the middle. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and everything and I will be back to kind of do like a conclusion into the video wrapping it up style. Okay, so I just applied some mascara, bronzer, highlighter, and this lip color. Um, this lip color is totally bomb aside from this video. But um, for our little wrap up of these products, this I actually really like. The only two things I do not like about it is it does stick to my dry patches around my nose. And I have forehead lines, like the little expression lines, I guess you could call them that. But um, I always have foundation to settle into those. We also didn't use a primer with this, so that may help that issue or like a hydrating primer or anything like that but um, they did settle those lines but those are my two cons but other than that I really like this foundation it does oxidize so put that in consideration when you do go and buy it maybe buy a shade lighter um I do like the feel of it you don't need to set it I didn't even set my whole face um it just looks natural and that's literally what it says it just looks natural it doesn't look heavy doesn't look cakey anything like that it just looks natural and the coverage is pretty dang good if you ask me i actually really enjoyed the coverage um so the foundation definitely gets two thumbs up and i will repurchase it repurchase it again after i do finish it up as far as these little guys go um this purple one i am absolutely in love with i really enjoyed using this the um softness of this is actually insane because it's to me it seems softer than a beauty blender and the real technique sponge but um i will always rebuy this as long as they keep making it i actually really enjoy this um the blue one not so much it was okay i will use it because i did spend the money on it but i don't really care for it because it's so stiff and you know your under eye is a very very delicate area that you don't want to you know tug and pull on too much and this one i definitely felt like i had to really pounce to get it to move which i didn't appreciate because this one was the completely opposite now this awkward little guy right here um i would not buy i would not buy this to begin with if i knew it was going to be like this um i think it's way too large for the area that they suggest um you know i made it work and it does work it does its job but i think the size could be smaller for one and um it could be a tad bit softer like it's soft but it could be softer every sponge could be softer but um those are really two complaints but if um if l'oreal if you're watching this which you're probably not ever going to but um i would cut the size of this thing down like half probably it's a lot easier to move around and maneuver that way and I think that would also help a lot with just blending in general and to dab and not swipe. That was the other thing. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I freaking loved testing out these products, these sponges and that foundation. It really was fun because it was all new stuff from L'Oreal and it was just, I don't know, I like testing out sponges and new foundation, especially when they're like together from the same brand. It just makes it more exciting. So I will have the sponges and the foundation linked below wherever I could find them, Amazon or Walmart. I think Walmart may have all of them online or I'll find them on Amazon and link them down below and um just make sure to check there give this video a big thumbs up before you guys leave and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other of my videos and um i really hope y'all guys stay tuned because i have a lot of exciting videos planned and just collaborations and it's just gonna be fun stuff so i hope you guys do subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys